Hey guys, so welcome to your general energy check-in for Aries. This is going to be uh, in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, you can also apply this to your Jupiter signs for December 2021. We're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for December, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are. Um, so keep in mind that this could be in anything, love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, career, finances, uh, personal development, spiritual development. We will see what the, what the cards pick up. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Just switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind this is a general reading. This is going to be for the this is for the collective Aries. I'm not, uh, you know, tailoring it to one specific person's energy. So, uh, yeah, so uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's get started. Over energies for Aries. What is surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know? Um, for December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups seems like you have an offer or a new beginning that's coming towards your way. seems like there's a new beginning where it's going to make you extremely happy here, Aries. Let's see what that is. Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Okay, so we have someone here that's making a decision between two things, two people here. I'm feeling like it's more love-focused. Um, but you could apply this to your own unique situation in regards to your work. Maybe you're making uh, decisions between uh, two uh, new um, uh, uh, ideas that you're working on or two new projects. Re yeah, okay, so this is regarding love. Queen of Cups and the um, Lovers. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini energy. Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Someone here wants a new beginning here with you, uh, Aries. I feel like someone here is uh, finding someone here extremely nurturing, caring, um, very giving. Oh, you know what? So, so Aries on the on the this is on top of the deck. Um, judgment, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. It looks like we have someone here that's wanting a second chance here with you. So this other person could be happy about this new beginning, that they're deciding to approach you about this new beginning, or that they're going to talk to you about this new beginning and you're going to be excited about it. Um, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So we have someone here that is moving towards you for victory, success, um, a second chance here. So whatever happened in the past was unsuccessful, but now we have someone here who's perhaps confident about this, but also stressing out at the same time, because maybe this person's fearing that you will reject them. Nine of Cups, the devil. Capricorn energy, could be dealing with the Capricorn. You might have Capricorn in your chart. 
Um, I'm feeling like this is keeping this person up. It's strange because I feel like this person wants it so badly, but at the same time, I feel like they can't have it because maybe you're over them. Maybe you've moved on. Perhaps you have rejected them several times. But um, Aries, we have someone here that's in love with you, um, obsessing over you. Two of Pentacles in the Strength card, Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo here. You might have a Leo in your chart. I feel like we have someone here that is scared to approach you right now. Um, they are weighing the pros and cons on how to do that. Two of Cups. There's a possibility, Aries, that you could be very much um, in love with this person too, just as much as they are in love with you. Two of Cups. Yeah, we so, so we have someone here that's wanting a second chance here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups in the Tower. Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with another Aries here. Or Scorpio. Or Sagittarius. Capricorn. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Six of Swords. You know, I feel like something major happens between you and this person. And what happened is that this Queen of Cups moved away to calmer waters. Maybe we even moved away to a new relationship. I just feel like we have one person here that's freaking out that, yeah, look at that. This Queen of Cups walked away from this because this Queen of Cups felt that maybe they were lonely or that they felt alone. This connection made them insecure. It could have been, you know, a codependent relationship too, or that someone here is codependent, that someone can't perhaps I'm feeling like we have someone here that can't live without you, um, Aries. They can't live without you. Now, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation, you know, with the pentacles here. Maybe there's a new uh, beginning uh, in regards to work. You know, maybe you're buying a new home. Uh, maybe you have two options between uh, new, uh, two, uh, new things here uh, that's outside of love. So just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Um, outcome and advice here regarding Aries' is, uh, Aries is situation for December 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You know, I feel like we have a Queen of Pentacles here that could have physically moved locations just to get away from this uh, devil energy here. Nine of Cups and the uh, Knight of Cups. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone here is trying to approach you. Um, uh, um, Aries, to give you an offer. Whoever this is, this person is completely obsessed with you. This person wants a new beginning here with you. Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like this person wants a new beginning here with you, but I feel like at the same time, I feel like this person feels like they're going to fail at it again or they're going to hurt you again. Uh, so this person has some reservations and fears too. Uh, we have judgment here and the eight of swords. Someone can't stop thinking about a reconciliation here with you. We have someone here that can't stop thinking about you, Aries. Look at that. Six of cups. So you have someone from your past that's coming back. Yeah, we have someone here that has unfinished business here with you. This person could have betrayed you, not just once, twice, but multiple times. Could be dealing with someone here that's extremely, extremely toxic. Could be even, could even be narcissistic too. I mean, we have the King of Wands here. So could be dealing with another Aries, like I said, or Leo or Sagittarius or Capricorn. So we have that double energy showing up again. Let's see what else we have here. It's like I could feel someone who wants this so badly, but they're scared that they will mess this up again. Let's see. Because I feel like this person is maybe 
having is having a, an awakening, a major awakening, realizing how badly that they hurt you here. So, I mean, in the past, maybe this person, um, you know, dipped out on you and perhaps picked a third party. Even though this is not showing here, I'm feeling that that could have been a scenario because we have some twos here too. This is telling me that we have someone here at some point um, had to make a decision between two people. Because twos are about, you know, making decisions, partnerships. Um, let's see, nine of cups. Oh, nope. I didn't, I didn't like that way, the way that fell out. Okay, nine of cups. Nine of cups and the hangman, Piscean energy. It's strange because I'm feeling like this person wants it, but then at the same time, this person pulls back because they get scared. Like I said, they're scared to perhaps mess this up again or hurt you again. Knight of Cups, wow. It's like this person sees, a, as, sees you as wish fulfillment. They want to approach you, but then they're scared of doing this again. So I feel like you're dealing with someone here that is not very self-aware. Yeah. Someone here who's not very self-aware. Because when you're self-aware, you know... You don't pull crap like this, you know? So you could be dealing with someone here that has might have a lot of ego and pride. I mean, this person might even have a hard time apologizing. To go back to that, I mean, if you have, I mean, if you are very self-aware and you're a very conscious person, if you do something wrong, um, you know, the apology will come in effortlessly. It wouldn't be a challenge to this person. So it seems like this is, this person might have a hard time admitting that they're wrong or that maybe they're not seeing it. The Ace of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Look at that. This person wants a new beginning in love with you, um, Aries. So badly. Yeah, so badly. Judgment. We have the strength card. I feel like this person's feeling really confident about it. It's kind of strange because it's like, I'm getting like a boost of confidence and then out of nowhere, um, you know, this person gets in their head, they second guess it and then they pull back. Eight of swords and the ace of wands. This person can't stop thinking about you, Aries. That's all I have to say. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. This person, yeah, I mean, this person wants a relationship with here, uh, with you here. You might have an incredibly soul, uh, strong soul tie with this person, twin flame, soulmate. Um, the thing is, I feel like this person might be a bit toxic, though. We have that devil card here. It showed up two times. Um, but um, Aries, if you're coming up as, as this Queen of Cups, you might be moving away from this or you don't want to deal with this. So, Aries, I hope this was helpful. If it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.